Meowdy friends, spend today with us at the GCCF Supreme Cat Show of 2022, vlogged by the Fancy Cats World. We normally arrive at cat shows to start vetting in at 8 o'clock, but since there was over 500 cats, I believe, today, we had to arrive an hour earlier than we usually do. Here's Parsley being vetted in first. He wasn't too happy about the morning awakening, but there you have it. Here's Tony being checked in and the rest of my girls, Twinkie was next and Muffin was up last. It was a dress pen show, you had the option to do the theme or not. Muffin and Twinkie didn't do the theme but Parsley and Tony did. I got all their pens ready the night before and they're looking absolutely fabulous. They're both looking very relaxed now and I'm so happy with how it all turned out. Managed to get these drapes secondhand from a Facebook swap and wanted page for GCCF. So if you need any show drapes, it's a really good place to get them for a great price. Parsley was well underway getting stuck into his meet and greet duties. And here's Tony displaying her custom dress that I had from Snowy Sid on Instagram. I designed the drapes. I had them made by a lovely lady on Facebook named Sonia Skullcroft. As you might know, Tony's a Cat King Club ambassador and she is very, very proud to be a Cat King Club ambassador. We spent nearly all day handing out Cat King goodies, tote bags and sprinkles. And after all of that hard work, she definitely enjoyed some nibbles of her own. After I did a little bit of meet and greeting, I had to go back over to Twinkie and get her ready for her judging. In between each of the cats, they wiped down the table to ensure health and safety of the other cats. Here's the big moment, Twinkie's being taken out of the pen. I'm really excited for this now. So far, so good. She looks like she's taking it all in and she's not trying to run off or anything. She's just looking very interested in what's going on. The judge is saying a quick hello and having a look at her face. Twinkie's, of course, not looking at anyone. <laughs> From what I could tell, I couldn't hear too well because it was very noisy. Um, they're talking about her retrosite on her nose, which is often regarded as a ski slope. You'll hear later on in the vlog today, one of the judges talking a little bit more about it. I managed to get some very clear audio. This class was 261F, any colour, by colour or mitted ragdoll kitten female. I was laughing so much at this. She was literally men walking off the table. Whilst I was doing this and Tony and Parsley were over on the meet and greet stand still, Parsley's handler was taking care of things and manning the stand, handing out goodies still, making sure nearly everybody in the hall had a catkin tote bag. Back in your pen for now, Twinkie, and there's something very interesting that you'll get to hear soon. I'm going to put some captions up because the audio is not the best. But any of the speaking that is going to be happening today, I'm going to add captions for. So everybody has a chance to hear, listen, read to what they're saying about these cats. <laughs> The judges write up some comments about the cats, what they liked, about their body, about their eye colour, anything about the cat really and just their general shape and maybe what got them the win, what didn't get them the win. Just general comments about them and it's really good feedback for the future and you know which judges to go back to, which not to go back to. Muffin's class wasn't being judged till later on in the day so I had a chance to go around and see everybody else's cat. This one was eaten out of a crown. I need to know where this bowl is from because I need them. Muffin was in class 263F, any colour, bow colour or mitted ragdoll pre-premier female. 
Today is a really big day for Muffin because she could actually make her premiere title if she gets a premiere certificate today with her first. So pause crossed. Let's hope she can do it. She's got two under her belt and um, she just needs one more for that premiere title. So let's see how she gets on. I have added this message at the end of the video, but if you're interested in showing cats and you live in the UK and you don't know where to start, pop us a message over on Instagram. It's at the fancy cats world and my DMs are open to all. I'm willing to give any advice and share any little tips, tricks, anything around showing. I'm here to help, so send me a message, even if you think it's silly. Drum roll, please. Look at who's on the stand now. They're having a good look at Little Muffin here. Well, I should maybe say Big Muffin because she's really not little anymore. <laughs> Muffin is a superior size for her age, and especially considering she's a neutered female as well. Some often think that she's actually a male cat, and then they look closer on the card and it's on the pen, they're like, whoa, she's a female neuter. Her dad was actually eight kilograms. He was a huge, huge, huge boy. I think he was imported from America, and he was like a quadruple grand champion winner, something fancy. But um, yeah, she's from a very long line of show winners, so it's no surprise here that she's um, absolutely being admired by these judges here. They're like, wow, she is a big cat. <laughs> Listen close, and I've added the captions again. There's a little speech from the judges on Muffin in three, two, one. Fabulous, gorgeous. She's got really good bones. Lovely, lovely legs to her. Um, I'm going to be quite honest. I can sometimes stand a couple of times because I wasn't sure about the white bit coming off here, but actually nowhere in the stand is yeah, the face not, is it? it. So, you know, as a judge, I'm not too proud to go back to where I am because when I'm presented with something I've not seen before, I'd far rather check. Um, I think she has lots of lovely, lovely qualities. Her body is phenomenal. I mean, she's only very, very young. Yeah. Um, she's going to be got a big. Great attitude. She really shows herself well as well. So I'm very happy to be there. Oh. Oh. Can't actually believe it. She's got her premier title. So this means that Muffins had three first places from three separate judges, three different shows, and they've all awarded the premier certificate along with that. So I'm really, really, really happy with today's show. Some more head-to-head -head action coming up next. So make sure you listen to this. I've got some fabulous comments about the cats and I really enjoy listening to what the judges say about them. Best of breed. So this is our young pre-premier lady here. And she actually defies, she's such a, such a good way. Oh. Oh, it gives me a huge pleasure. I think she's a stunning example of the breed. She's nine years old, so you know you actually have to say they go on for a long time and they really are beautiful. For me, she's actually archetypal in, in what I'm looking for in, in the breed. She's got a super head balance. And actually, if you turn her in profile, she actually is one of the few that you can see has still got that slight retrousse tip on the end of the nose, which is should be a breed feature, but he's disappearing a bit at the moment. So a bit of a a plug to breed and to see whether we can get that little ski slope bit on the back on the nose. She's a mitted, seal mitted, so she's got everything that she needs in exactly the right position. She's got the semi-long, beautiful, silky texture to her coat. She's in excellent condition. May she go on for another for several years. She's my best to breed. Thank you. I hope everyone enjoyed watching today's vlog and you all enjoyed coming along with us. If you didn't manage to come to the actual show, you can come now by watching to the end of the vlog. The hall was absolutely huge. I ran out of time to film all of the stalls, but I've got a haul that's coming up very soon on our Instagram reels and I will be posting it over on TikTok as well. So make sure you're following us on both platforms. 
I entered Twinkie for the special kitten classes, but oh my cat, the list of special kitten class entries was literally longer than my arm. So there are so many good kittens in this class, but it's all for the experience today. And even if she didn't win in the special kitten classes, I was super happy to just get her out there. She enjoyed it. Another reason to go to a cat show is because you get to see so many different cats that you've not seen before. So we had a Russian blue, a Somali cat. This cat, this cat with squishmallows. <laughs> Some people literally put so much effort into their displays. This cat had a custom bed in its display, like wow. Had me thinking I should have bought my uh, bunk beds for the girls. It would have looked so good, especially with the pink drapes for Twinkie and Muffin. I was speaking to the owners of the Russian Blue and they said they're very, very intelligent. Now, this is a star Bengal. Look at that coat. It's very primal, very tiger-like. Some more regal-looking Russian Blues here. Now, I know I'm totally not meant to say this, but this might have been my favourite cut of the day. Um, did you just see that? Please rewind that little clip there. Did he just smile at me? I'm 100% certain this cat just smiled at me. This is Jeremy and he's a Selkirk Rex and I'm totally not in love with him. A lovely set of deep, mysterious purple drapes on this Norwegian forest cat. Some beautiful artwork and bunting for this pen here. One of the top winning Siberian cats of the day. Love that Siberian coat, it looks so plushy. Oh my cat, crochet jack skeleton. This pen is spooktacular. And with a majestic Maine Coon to match. Tony and Parsley decided to do the Queen's Jubilee theme and Muffin and Twinkie, like a lot of other cats here, didn't do the theme, but that's okay, as a lot made up for it. This was an amazing themed pen. Some absolutely gorgeous British short hairs here and oh my god, any time I see a kitten I'm just like, kittens! <laughs> Beautiful cream silver shaded Maine Coon here. And some more pretty kitty Maine Coon action. Some Asian torty cats here. I've never seen them before in person, they're absolutely stunning. To end off the day, we had some photos taken of Tony and her crown by the official photographer of the day, Shalane Forrest. I hope you enjoyed the Supreme Cat Show just as much as we did. Make sure you share, comment and like this video as well as subscribe to our channel for more. And to finish off this vlog, here's some of my favourite pictures from the day. Peace!